Hello everyone, Mr. Sorkin here. Welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We continue on playing as some of the um, Fire Emblem characters um, with alternate colors. And today we're going to take a look at Female Robin. And um, my favorite costume for Female Robin is the is that one. But today we are going to fight Robin against none other than Lucy. I don't know if she has this costume. I'm sure she did. Oh, by the way, that's heavily inspired by Tiki. So I now have a reason to maybe cover Lucina. I just now realized, hey, that's a tea color palette. Like, okay. I wish she had the mask on, because that'd be a great costume. It really would, um, when she's pretending to be Marth. But anyway, let's Robin versus Lucina. Now, this is area of Fjord, where we, uh, actually, where we first fight off against well, the main climax between um, Krom and Lucina pretty early on in the game. Now, Robin is a very confusing character. Um, I think Robin's more of a male than it is a female. Um, I would disagree with you, maybe, um, Corrin, as I said my Corrin videos, like, I associate Corrin more with female, I feel like the female design is more, uh, who the uh, fitting on the character. Whereas, um, Robin, I feel like the male fate, male was designed first, and then, like, we have to create a female version of that, and like, okay. So, yeah, do you guys want me to take a look at the TV version of, um, of Lucina? Because I'm actually tempted to. Yeah, just no no videos worth, you know. Oh, you said it'd be. It. So, um, actually, that's not really fair because I like Lucina's mother, especially in my path of Sumia. Originally, my version was Cordelia, but I was like, I don't really like Cordelia. I really don't. Um, Sumia, I think, is like the best person you probably pair Prom up with because like, you can pair them off and um. Essentially, not do more damage, but more range, in my opinion, to pairing them up. So Lucina is the future daughter of Krom, but she pretends to be Marth in the beginning, and that's where it creates kind of interesting parallel. There's like the original Fire Emblem story, and like what's the continuation, and what's what's the standalone, and it's a nice combination. There we go. Oh, that fell out. That fell off of me, that fell off of me. Doesn't matter because we're gonna get the dragoon in a second, I'm gonna wait. There we go. Feel the dragoon, I shall call it Grimma, because that's the name of the destroyer of all in um, Fire Emblem um, Awakening. Fire, Fire Emblem Awakening. If you don't play Fire Emblem Awakening, um, find it. It's uh, probably on the eShop still. It is a really good game. It, I was a bit concerned, and it was my introduction to the franchise, and it's a great introduction. It's really funny because they said that was going to be the last game. But then it became like so successful, like, nah. Let's continue making them. I think, um, Three Houses is the closest in terms of sales. Of that one, which I, I kind of like. Feels really good. I still think Awakening is the best game. I don't know, because Awakening is good for the 3DS. I just pull it out sometimes when I can get the round. I'll play it. Hello, Krom. Oh, that will fight against you and summon you if the final smash is here. There's the lawnmower growing again. <laughs> I did not think the lawnmower. It's that I am possibly surprised when it comes on and I shouldn't be, because it's like, oh, it comes on a certain time. Oh, uh, because I want to keep things different. I will go against you this time. Um, I'll go Krom. We're going against Krom, because they're both from Awakening. Awakening, again, is the best Fire Emblem game, I feel like. Uh, three houses is a close second. But you can definitely tell that Awakening is probably the best, because they have the most recognizable cast. Uh, Krom is not really remember memorable. A lot of people want... Again, uh, when um, Smash for you and 3DS is coming out, a lot of people want Krom to be the new representative, which I understand. I feel like that was the consensus, too. I was like, yeah, I like Krom to be the representation. Not Lucina. I didn't feel like Lucina was um, that relevant. It was an odd pick, and also they admitted like we want Lucina to be an alternate uh, costume. Why did I do that? I I thought I grabbed the wrong thing. Instead of healing him, that's not good. There we go. Get 
Now, this is Eric Pierre's where um, Krom and Lucina go head to head in the beginning. It's a really important story beat. Yay! Also, I just want to get the final smash just so I can beat Krom with Krom. That's the only reason. I fucked that up! But I like the idea they were going for. It's like, oh, it's the unified attack. It was a... I admit when I fucked things up and I fucked that up. I do apologize. Actually, I had a friend's, um, a friend's sister was main with, um, Robin. She was really good. No surprise, my main in Wii U and 3DS was Shulk, and, um, I beat them for a while with Shulk, and they were just like, okay, we're all gonna play as Shulk just to, like, get upset with this guy. Yeah, Shulk, Shulk is my main in 3DS and Wii U. I feel like it's the best game play. And then when Korn came out, I was like, Korn's my new main. But anyway. So actually, Robin's really good. I what I like about Robin is that Robin is um, a sword wielder and a magic user, which makes her makes him pretty unique in terms of like a fire moon character. It's like, yeah, he he has like a unique idea move set. It's like it's really well thought out, and it's, it's just not a sword thing. But at the same time, you say that about Hero, and like, I don't really care for Hero. I thought Hero was a mess over here in the states. Take that, Chrome. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time as take a look at Raging Hero Ike. I am actually no debate about covering, um, Tiki Lucina. But anyway, that is it for me. Have a good day. Enjoy life. Bye-bye.